What's up rated our cars? Before you buy your Terminioni slip-ons for your Monster 937, there are three things you're going to want to know. And there are four sound clips you're going to want to listen to before you make your decision. I do urge you to watch this full video in order to make the most informed decision possible. Alright guys, let's do work. Firstly, the Terminioni slip-ons are $1,900 US, and the full Terminioni race system is 2,600 Washingtons, or a difference of $700. Keep that number in the back of your mind. If you watch my full Terminioni race exhaust video, you'll remember that there is a five pound weight savings with the full exhaust. But if you just get the slip-ons, you actually gain 2.2 pounds. Something to keep in mind. You will not be able to remove the DB killers if you just buy the slip-ons. However, there is another problem with the slip-ons that you should know. As several of my subscribers told me, the DB killers are completely welded into the system and have a completely different framework to those of the race cans. And if you saw my DB killer delete video, you know that the sound is epic with them removed. Not too loud, but just perfectly epic. So I do recommend leaving them out. So this is my subscriber's bike. His name is Mauro and he's from Italy. So first of all, congratulations Mauro for owning a beautiful bike and also living in a very beautiful country. I love Italy. I've been all over Italy and I can't wait to go back, hopefully on the back of a motorcycle next time. So Mauro has the slip-ons and we're gonna listen to his bike. But first, here's a picture he sent showing a completely different setup than the race exhaust as you can see here. So as you can see here, once you remove the carbon fiber tips on the slip-ons, the DB killer is completely welded into the grate. Whereas in the full race system, you can take out two bolts to remove that grate, and then you can just pull out the DB killers by hand. So back to Maro's bike here, you can see that it's welded right to that grate, and there's no way that I can see that you can remove it. They look complicated to remove, but I'm sure if someone set their minds to it, I guess you just have to go to town with a reciprocating saw cutting off this part here, and then maybe getting some sort of a deep hole saw and very carefully cutting out this section here. The only problem is you're going to get rid of your grate as well. Now I personally wouldn't have a problem with that because next week I'm going to make a video on how to remove the grate and what it looks like and what it sounds like when you do. But I don't really recommend doing that because you can't really see what's behind there. So you might have to find an expert to do this for you. Are there any engineers or metal workers out there who have any ideas? If so, please drop a comment below. The Radar Cars community is awesome like that. Always helping each other out. So firstly, grazie, Maru, for actually including a decibel meter in your video. Much appreciated. Let's take a listen to the sound of his slip-ons, and then we'll do a comparison video versus my stock exhaust, my Terminioni race exhaust, and then my Terminioni race exhaust minus DB killers. Here we go. Here's a great place for some words of wisdom. So the Terminioni slip-ons still look great, and they sound great, as you heard. But if you want louder sound, you'd probably be better to spend the extra $700 to get the full race system, also thereby taking advantage of that five pound weight savings that you can get here. This is a stock catalytic converter on the scale, 9.7 pounds. Terminioni titanium mid pipe here. Yes. Whoa, six pounds lighter. All right, so let's do the stock one first. Stock, all right, and that is 6.35 pounds. Okay, 
Okay, so it's a little bit heavier, 8.5 pounds. Yeah. Um, but still, you got a net four or five pound savings on, yes. on the exhaust alone. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So as you just saw, in order to save weight, you're gonna need to get that track system. If you get just the slip-ons, you're actually gonna gain a few pounds. The extra 700 Washingtons will also get you more horsepower, more torque, as you're about to see from my upcoming dyno video, as well as the up map that tunes all that power so you can harness it. Plus you get that cool Ducati racing Evo sequence on your TFT display every time you start your bike. One thing I love is you see that racing Evo there when you first start the bike every single time. But in order to get that deliciousness, you have to have the full race exhaust with the up map. If you already got the slip-ons, no worries. They are gorgeous with those carbon fiber tips those red pinstripes, those grates on the back, and as you heard, they sound great. But if you are on the fence to spend that extra $700, let me help push you over. I think they're worth every single penny. Louder sound, more horsepower, more torque, you can remove the DB killers and make them sound epic. And I forgot to mention more pops than microwave popcorn. <laughs> Alright guys, do let us know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please hit the like, please share, please help to grow your channel. If you're interested in more motorcycles, Mustangs, and Mantech, then hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell as well so you don't miss any important updates. Alright boys, until next time, always remember the motto, always be kind of the necessary, and I will see you in the next one.